outside route, still about five lengths to make up. In the meanwhile, McKinsey has lost position here, and Tom Stetan has opened up a two mile lead. McKinsey, who was third, is back into second and is heading once again toward the front runner here. Seeking the soul is coming wide in the end of the stretch, and McKinsey, just like that, has taken the lead and pumps away Tom Stetan and is pulling away with a firm on the run. Then seeking the soul, followed by Silver Dust. On the inside, it is Casino Star, and then it's still regard, but it's McKinsey. McKinsey, sharp in victory here, pulling away by five in the end. And there is Tom Stetan, the second seeking the soul. Marcus five for the pace, and then the old man uncrafted. The trainer is Chaos Theory. The leader is World of Trouble, who will turn for home with a length and a half lead. Jazzy Time saves ground and now angles to the outside. World of Trouble kicks away two and a half. Jazzy Times, Angusted, and Will Collar behind. And then it's Spark Remark down the center and undrafted, but it's smooth sailing for World of Trouble. World of Trouble with a four length lead and a 16th to go, and they've got it won. World of Trouble and Manny Franco under the wire in front. Second is going to be Smart Remark in a photo with Chaos Theory. And then... As the field comes for the top of the stretch, Mo Soul with the lead, stretches Stone on the outside. Mo Soul ran the half in 46 seconds. Mo Soul challenged here by stretches Stone. Scarf it down is running in third. Adulations on the outside as they pass the eighth pole. Mo Soul digging down closest to the rail. Stretches Stone in second. Scarf it down is third. Mo Soul stretches Stone. Mo Soul the winner. By a half length, Lady Montdor, and here comes Santa Monica now with a quick burst on the outside as the field comes for the top of the stretch. And it is Santa Monica who has taken over the lead. Santa Monica with a move to the front, and she's clear here by four lengths, and she did it very quickly. Santa Monica leading Giant Zinger on the outside is Semper Sententiae. It's Santa Monica with the lead and a 16th of the finish. Semper Sententi on the outside is second. They come down to the finish in the Sheepshead Bay, and Santa Monica is the winner by a length and a half. Semper Majestic Gold Miner is last. The top two will sprint for the wire. Bourbon Extension the outside and Jeep's given full bore the rail. Down the outside, Lady Bella and Cordero's coming through in the center. Any of the four. Bourbon Extension fending off all challenges. Jeep's on the inside, fighting tooth and nail, gets the lead now. They're neck and neck to the wire. Bourbon Extension and Dupes. Dupes on the inside. As they hit the wire, Dupes has won. Just Inches at Dixie's Gamble. They turn together. Dixie's Gamble's gone to the front. Dixie's Gamble by a length. Inches at the rail. Flight deck the center. And down the outside, split my pants. Dixie's Gamble in the stretch, getting away by two lengths. And they're going to be hard pressed to get near Dixie's Gamble. Dixie's Gamble rolling at the 16th pole is well ahead. And Dixie's Gamble will win easily. Dixie's Gamble by about three and a half lengths to split my pants. Article at the rail. The heavy favorite, Mr. Dougie Fresh, on the outside. Now it's between those two after a half and 44 and four fifth seconds. See this quick moving up on the outside into third. Down towards the rail is no distortion. Mr. Dougie Fresh now takes over with an eighth of a mile to the finish. It's Mr. Dougie Fresh in front by four. No Distortion continues to gain at the rail, right alongside of Spartacle, but no doubt about the winner, it is Mr. Dougie Fresh. No Distortion did get second.
shot follows in fifth. Whitmore moves up alongside of him. He's got four and a half lengths to make up. Three lengths more to still having fun. That Uno Mas Modelo and work to do for the others. The half was 44.71 seconds, and they're making their way to the top of the stretch. Promise is fulfilled, pokes ahead in front, but Tony goes with him. Bobby's wicked one cuts the corner, and Whitmore comes up on the outside, and coming with uncontested as they arrive at the eighth bowl. But Tony has taken the lead. But Tony takes over, and on the inside, Bobby's wicked one just keeps on fighting. Promise is fulfilled, is back running in third. Then comes Whitmore in fourth, late run to share. It's going to be Matoli. The sharp Matoli by four under the wire. Bobby's wicked one was second over Promise is fulfilled. going up and down from the second spot it's two and a half more back to martini kid but rolling in question rolls into the stretch clear by four now super fleet second three more back to martini kid patriots pride emerges on the scene up to fourth but past the furlong pole and roll again question well clear here it's roll again question by the 16th still clear by five super fleet gonna hold on to second roll again question though to win it here roll again question by four in the end super fleet of value Now being pushed on to go. Round the far turn, a thread of blue on top by a length. And then it's Marquis Prince on the outside of Social Paranoia, who has saved every inch of ground. Casa Green comes three wide. Avis Flatter comes four wide. Digital Age is coming alive between horses. Hetley's Joy is on the far outside, and they're into the stretch. And it's a thread of blue. The one to catch as they arrive into the final for a long. On the outside, here comes Avis Flatter. Casa Green, Social Paranoia. Digital Age is getting going too. The Black Album is down on the inside. Still wide open, trying to catch a thread of blue. Here's Digital Age down the outside, and he's won again. Digital Age, three for three. A thread of blue and a photo with social paranoia. That seismic wave. The bank has the lead, but they're closing in now. Step to the bank. About to be caught on the outside by Bassman Dave, the half in 45 seconds. Bassman Dave has come away with the lead. Invest is coming on through. Now to take second and gaining ground here on the outside is Later Cat along with Papa Jim inside the 16th pole. It's Invest, Papa Jim, Later Cat on the outside. Here comes Hot Diggity at the rail. Bassman Dave, five of them. Heads apart on the line. go as they come toward the top of the stretch down the inside dangerous woman tearless to her outside i'm listening to the line colors loops up on the far outside leb continues along sustained rally is up to third tearless the new leader now it's tearless and dangerous woman battling on leb in the purple colors starts to come through tearless has to make a final 16th leb dangerous woman it's tearless and leb down to these two a driving photo finish very close either They head inside the 5 sixteenths and going forward, Wyatt's Town to press Yorkton, extravagant kid three wide, waiting in the wings, Pink Lloyd a length and a half away, called on now as they turn in the Jacques Cartier, comes to the outside, and Circle of Friends, extravagant kid joined by Pink Lloyd, and Pink Lloyd with the giant striders blown on by with extravagant kid trying to fight back, Pink Lloyd in front. And Pink Lloyd back in action with a brilliant performance. And Pink Lloyd's third, Jacques Cartier, by over length, extravagant kid. Cur in front of Dover Cliffs who now dials up the pressure in the second spot. All right is back to third projected pushed along from fourth is still two and a half off the early lead. It's two and a half or three more than back to Mead Hall. Hawkish has to go. He's about six or seven behind as Mo Maverick turns for home in front. Mo Maverick has made every yard thus far. Dover Cliffs been chasing the entire way. All right cuts the corner nicely. Now Hawkish starting to close in with projected down the far outside. Mo Maverick has to make another furlong. Here's projected Dover Cliffs and Hawkish splitting runners. A dynamite finish with a 16th to go projected and hawkish the two favorites go on hawkish and projected 
Photo finish, very close, hawkish on the inside or projected on the outside. And then comes breaking the rules on the outside. Racing about five and a half lengths off the lead. Prince and Order yet to be let loose. He's outside of Sabador. He's six lengths behind. Then Synchrony to the outside. Around the far turn. Mark it off. Joined by Klein's image. The two of them are stride for stride on the lead. Corban is a length and a half behind them. Then Prime Attraction. Prince and Order is taken to the outside. He has been let loose now. And here he comes. And he's charging down the middle of the turf course. Klein's image and Corban to catch. Ricks and Mortar try to straighten out and get by them on the far outside. He's coming with each and every stride. Here comes Ricks and Mortar. And he's going to move down to one and at the wire over Corban. And then it was Clyde's image reaching pole. And Falcons view on the inside and notice me together. Down the outside coming at them is sailing by and Soul Planet goes up the rail. These two in front notice me. Falcons view sailing by, finishing well. And on the inside, Soul Planet notice me urged along, responding pretty well in front. And notice me holding out, starting a flying run. Soul Planet on the inside. But notice me's one, notice me a half.